to mountain pose. Stand tall and take a deep breath. Inhale, sweep your arms over your head, stretch up. Exhale, fold down, drop your head. Inhale, lift up to flat back. Exhale, step back to the plank and lower yourself down strong. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Hold and breathe. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Press through your fingers equally and really root through your knuckles. Take another slow breath. Moving forward, look forward, step or hop your feet forward. Line up the toes, inhale to flat back, exhale fold. Floating up with a flat back, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, stand tall, mountain pose. We'll add on, bending the knees in the chair pose. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale and dive down, straighten your legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, plank, and lower. Inhale, strong core as you lift up to upward dog or cobra. Exhale, push back to downward dog. Warrior one, right foot steps forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up, strong core. On your exhale, lower all the way down through the plank. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Left side, step your left foot forward to warrior one, ground your back heel. As you inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, flow all the way down. Upward dog or cobra. Downward dog, hold and breathe. Reach through your heels as you lift your sit bones up. Flex your core and keep your spine neutral. Take another deep breath. Moving forward, line up your toes. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold deeply. Coming into your chair pose, bend your knees. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, straighten the knees, mountain pose. Standing forward bend, separate the feet hip width apart. Folding down, holding the toe lock or the ankles or the feet. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. As we hold the standing forward bend, engage your core muscles up and in towards your spine so you can fold chest towards the thighs. Have softness in the knees. Breathe. On your next inhale, lift up to your flat back, strong core. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, float all the way up to the mountain. Exhale, pause. The triangle. Step back with your left foot. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale, folding to the side. Left arm goes up. Breathe into your side and hold your core strong. Legs are straight, but knees are never locked. There's always space in the knee. Breathe. On a strong inhale, press through your feet to come up. Strong abdominal muscles. And we'll switch sides. Exhale, turn the feet to the left. Take a moment to align. Reach through the left arm, right arm goes up. If it hurts your neck to look up, you can look down. Breathe. Last time. On a 
strong inhale, press through your feet, floating up. Exhale, turn towards your right foot and back into our warrior one, front knee bent, back leg straight. Prepare for the warrior balance. Spread your front toes. Find a spot with your eyes on the floor just ahead of your mat. When you're ready, push off your back foot and come into warrior balance, trying to make your body and your leg parallel to the floor. Here we go. The principles to balance are feet spreading, engaged, core drawn up and in, the root lock, and the eyes focused and concentrated on one point. Gracefully, float back with that left foot. Come into warrior one, inhale. Flow through vinyasa. Exhale, step back to the plank and lower down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, float back to downward dog. Take a deep breath. Preparing for the second side. Stepping the left foot forward to warrior one. Grounding through the back heel. Lift your arms up. Set your core. Breathe. Find your spot down on the floor just ahead of your mat. Spread out your toes. When you're ready, float into your warrior balance. Left side. And try to feel that long horizontal line you're making with your body. Heel to crown to fingertips. Hold, abs are flexed. Take a deep breath. Gracefully float back into warrior one. Look up, inhale. Exhale, lower down, flow through vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe it out. Notice the energy moving through your body. Three more deep breaths. Moving forward, inhale, step or hop forward, flat back, exhale, fold. We're gonna hold the forward bend, holding ankles or calves or toes. Draw the abdominals in tight and breathe into your back. One more deep breath. up with a flat back inhale hands to the hips all the way up exhale mountain pose warrior two step back with your left foot wide stance right foot turns out right knee bent working towards a 90 degree angle over time arms are outstretched turn your palms up drop your shoulders check out your alignment of your arms in line with your shoulders Eventually gazing over the right fingertips and turning the palms down. Keep that broadness across the chest and the lower back by pointing your tailbone down and engaging your core muscles in. Breathe. Feel the power of your warrior two stance. Release. Turn your right toes in and your left toes out. Warrior two to the left. This time, interlace your hands behind your back into yoga mudra and pull your shoulder blades back in together. Turn your head to the left and then float your arms out to their position and feel that new open space across your chest. Breathe as you stretch the arms away from your center and rotate your left thigh outwards. Breathe. Release, both toes point forward, hands come to the hips. 
straight knees or as straight as you can make them. Fold forward with a flat back reaching for the floor and then let your spine just rest and hang with the weight of the head. Wide leg forward bend. Hold and breathe. Lengthen through the top of your head as you pull your shoulder blades back and down your back, making a long neck. Inhale, lift your head, come to your fingertips. Exhale, we'll do a downward dog in this position. Walk your hands forward, out off your mat. Make sure you don't slip. Push back into the sit bones and just enjoy that stretch as you hang with a long spine. Take a deep breath. Walk your hands back into your mat. Find your core strength and your balance. Lift up, hands to the hips, all the way up with a flat back. And then turning, stepping forward to mountain pose at the top of your mat, preparing for the tree pose. Stand on your right foot, left foot comes into the calf. Do whatever you'd like with your arms, be creative. Imagine what type of tree you might be. Push your left foot into your right calf and your right calf into your left foot and grow even taller. Feel the strength in the trunk of your tree. Focus your eyes on one point. Now circle your arms and hold your waist. Extend that left leg out in front as high as you can. Engage your core and spread your toes. Take a deep breath here. Hold and balance. Release. Stand in mountain pose. Deep breath. Preparing for the second side. Standing on the left foot this time. Set up your focal point with your eyes. Your abdominals are pulling in. Try something different with your arms this time. Be creative. Breathe. Focus. Bring your hands to your hips. Strong core, extend your right leg out in front as high as you can. Spread your toes. Try not to lean back. Keep your shoulders right over your hips. Release, mountain pose. Vinyasa, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, flat back, lift your head. Exhale, move back to the plank and lower down. This time we'll do some back extensions. The locust. Arms by your sides, engage your core, lift everything up, engage the core up and in, reach through the toes and the head. Using upper back muscles, spread your arms out to the sides like wings. Now reach your arms all the way up over your head, increasing the challenge. Release. Bend your arms, rest your head on your hands. Take a deep breath and feel the energy moving through the whole back of your body. Locust pose number two. Arms are up over your head. Try to use the whole back of the body equally to lift. Now spread the arms out like wings. and back by your sides. We're gonna move right into upward dog. Bring your hands in line, rise up as your feet come down. Strong core, move back to downward dog. Let your spine hang and decompress. Feeling the effects of the back extensions, the locust. Release. We'll try our first child pose, counterposing the locust. You could rest your head on your hands, you could rest your head on the floor, you could bring your arms by your sides. See what works for you today. Release and relax your lower back. 
breathe. Take another deep breath. We'll transition onto your back now. Coming up onto your sit bones. Rolling onto your back. And draw your knees into your chest. Double knee twist. Guide both knees over to one side into a twist. Open your opposite arm out. Relax your core now and breathe deeply. Start to move your right arm in a big circle, touching the floor all the way around your body and then across your hip. Continue and just let your head roll with that arm, opening the chest, the pec, rotator cuff and the shoulder upper back, mobilizing the shoulder blade. And this helps to reverse rounded shoulders. Reverse, go in the other direction with your arm. Try to reach the floor the whole way around. Stretch, extend that arm away from the body. Rest now in the twist with your arm out to your side. You could turn your head to one side or keep your head centered. Take two more deep breaths here. Release, bring your knees back through the center and over to the other side. Take a moment to settle in and a deep, full breath. Slowly circle that outstretched arm. Again, trying to stay close, contacting the floor the whole way around. And allow your head to naturally roll with the arm, keeping the head on the floor. Breathe. Reverse direction. Stay with your breath. Reach the arm away from your center, stretching, creating more space in the chest, the shoulder joint, upper back. And we'll hold the twist now with that arm out. You could turn your head or keep your head centered. Slow breaths down into the tummy, up into the chest. Start to come back. Knees to chest in the center, realign your hips. Curl into a ball, see if you can reach your feet. And then lift your arms and your legs and shake your hands and your feet. Do some circles, massage the ankles and the wrists. Reverse. Give your legs and your arms another shake and prepare for Shavasana relaxation, stretch your body out, 
Release all your muscles and stay for five to 20 minutes. Namaste.